Um, I'd like to do a short talk today talking about some of what I learned over the years on online education and how to learn faster than you ever thought possible. So, um, I want to share um, just really quickly four pieces of information that I've learned over the past 21 years about how to learn fast. And this is not the entire solution, but I think together they probably form the majority of how to make this applicable to a wide variety of people. So the first piece is about breaking through psychological speed barriers. So if you think about your own education, right, it's all about learning. You want to learn something. But why is it that pretty much everybody in this country, everybody in the US, is limited by the speed of their education system? I would encourage everybody in this room and in all the as well to just think about the ridiculousness of that. Why do you have to be uh, sort of constrained by what other people say, right? It's the basic principle of you don't have to necessarily do what other people tell you to do. So there's a really great quote, actually, from Steve Jobs. Uh, it's a little bit cut off here, but like, let me just read it. So, life can be much broader once you discover one simple fact, and that is everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you. So you have the ability to build and change the world around you. So if you have the proper teachers and you have the proper mindset, then you can break through those barriers and set no speed limit for yourself. And that's deeply psychological and actually a huge part of it. Right, so that's about controlling your own mind. Now, uh, here it's actually uh, two Pokemon, and let me tell a little bit story. Uh, so, everybody has an obsession. Um, I worked with a kid once who didn't seem to be very good at school. He wasn't good at math, he wasn't good at science, he wasn't good at art, but he was obsessed with video games and with Pokemon. So, one of the most effective techniques I've found getting through to him is actually using his love and obsession with Pokemon as a starting point to spiral outward and teach things like math and geography and even physics. So in this case, these are two legendary Pokemon, Dialga and Palkia, who are responsible for controlling time and space. So use that as a starting point for a physics lesson, and it worked really well. Okay, so that's piece one, breaking through psychological barriers.